Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the best exercise for that lower belly pooch, that flab in your lower part of your stomach, okay? Um, so many people go to the gym and they're doing massive amounts of sit-ups, okay? And that's fine, but it doesn't necessarily get rid of that looseness, okay? That loose skin or little flab in the lower part right here. Because if you think about it, when you do a sit-up, you are basically causing the lower part of your, your stomach to relax and uh, uh, become even looser, okay? What we wanna do is reverse sit-ups, okay? Like in this example right here, where the person is extending back. So you wanna tighten up your butt muscles and extend back, okay, over and over and over. That's gonna tighten the lower abdomen muscles, okay, and the skin, and over time, it'll tighten that lower area. And so what I would recommend, just starting out, to prevent any lower back pain is to do it about 25 times, okay? Rest for a few minutes, do it 25 times, rest, do it 25 times. You'll feel that your stomach kind of even goes in just from that alone. So you want to play around with this to make sure that your lower back does not get too painful because you're going back and you're not used to it. So make sure that when you do this, you tighten your butt muscles up just to keep that area very, very stable. Now, um, the next day, if you're sore, of course, wait till you're not sore. Maybe you do it every other day uh, and you keep increasing this slowly over time to the point where maybe you're doing 50, three sets of 50, and you're really creating a nice change in your lower abdomen. Now, as far as a diet standpoint, uh, definitely uh, healthy keto and intermittent fasting, but there's two tweaks. Number one, you have to keep your carbs below 10 grams, not 20, 30, or 50 grams. You've got to bring it all the way down because that will force your body to really target the middle section. The middle section is where a lot of the insulin receptors are, and so we wanna bring our carbs down. That's gonna be the most important action, bringing your carbs down, okay? So that'll help get this leaner and leaner and leaner, and then this exercise will tone and tighten the lower flab that you ha might have. The, the second thing is the quantity of fats that you have in your diet. If you consume too many fats, your body will turn those into ketones and not your own body fat. So you may also want to play around with the quantities of fats and start cutting down your fats to the point where you cut down your carbs, cut down your fats, so your body has like no choice but to really tap into the stomach. If you do this correctly, within a few months, you can actually really tighten up and, and flatten your lower belly pooch. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention, and if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.